Our growing dependence on foreign technology and offshore labor is creating a complex phenomenon for the United States, one that could cause us to lose our role as a world leader in economics, technology, and education, perhaps permanently. Of the two million engineers graduating every year globally, the U.S. now produces just 4%. Our unemployment rate is one and a half times higher than our historical average. Yet important positions in many corporations remain unfilled. Nearly two-thirds of these firms report a job gap in engineering and science positions. The struggle is finding the right kind of talent. Even when the economy is improving, this talent shortage prevents local, sustainable growth. As a noted analyst recently stated, you can no longer assume that as long as the economy is doing great, jobs are doing great. Since the U.S. represents only 4.5% of the world's population, the real question is not entirely about the number of engineers. But can America produce the type of engineers that have the ability to transform the U.S. economy? The answer is yes. But only if we initiate a movement to create engineers by thinking beyond the confines of traditional engineering education. The key is being entrepreneurially minded. The future of the United States economy depends on the development of exceptional intellectual capital, driven by this new approach. It's why our colleges and universities are beginning to cultivate new types of entrepreneurially minded engineers. Graduates who are better prepared to recognize opportunities and develop technologies that will make a positive impact on both our society and our economy forward-thinking institutions that understand the urgency of adopting this new philosophy have formed a share group, the Kern Entrepreneurship Education Network. Keen is working to dramatically improve the quality of America's engineers and our standing within the global community. And Keen invites you to be part of the movement. Find out how to get involved by visiting keennetwork.com. Together, we'll engineer a solution to maintaining America's role as a global leader. <laughs>